Today we're going to make candles with concrete bases. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, helping you make websites quickly and easily. I'm going to make the molds for the candles out of water bottles. I prefer ones with smooth, straight sides, but really any plastic water bottle will work. I use my utility knife to cut the tops off. Now one of the tricks for making these things is to get the concrete cleanly to the bottom of the water bottle. So I'm going to take a tapered plastic bottle and cut the top and bottom off of it to make my own little funnel. I'm going to start by mixing up a batch of Quickcrete 5000. It's a readily available concrete mix that has a nice gray color. I got mine at Home Depot. I'm going to mix it to the consistency of oatmeal and then use the funnel to deliver it to the bottom of the bottles. I'm then going to tap and shake the bottles to try to get the concrete nice and settled. I used a chopstick to press the bottom of a candle wick into the wet concrete. I then switched to a white Quickcrete countertop mix. This mix isn't as easy to find. You have to normally special order it from Home Depot, but it has this really cool white color and it doesn't have any large chunks of gravel or aggregate in it, so it pours really smooth. I wanted to try and experiment with this gold powder that I bought. I just poured a little bit onto the slightly damp concrete and tried to spread it around with a chopstick. Another experiment that I tried was pushing the concrete down in some places so that it have more of a, a mountain range type aesthetic to the transition between the wax and the concrete. I just used a chopstick again to kind of push and mold the slightly wet concrete. I would recommend trying this process about five minutes after you first add water to the Quickcrete countertop mix. The Quickcrete 5000, however, sets up a little bit slower. So for that mix, I would recommend waiting about 30 minutes before trying to sculpt it. I'm going to melt some soy-based wax flakes in a makeshift double boiler on my stove. While I'm waiting for the wax to melt, let me tell you a little bit about Squarespace, which is the sponsor for this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that lets you easily buy domains and build beautiful websites. I'm actually using Squarespace to create the website for my new podcast, The Modern Maker Podcast. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash homemade modern and enter the offer code homemade to get 10% off your first purchase. I added a grapefruit scent to the wax to give it a nice smell. Now I poured the hot wax directly on top of the wet concrete. This worked fine, but it's probably a better idea to wait a full 48 hours to let the concrete completely cure before adding the hot wax. The wax can shrink the plastic bottle a little bit and can cause the concrete to crack a little around the edges as it cures. After letting the concrete cure for 48 hours, I was ready to remove the bottles. I started by taking a really sharp knife and cutting the bottoms off. Now I can just make a few cuts along the top and keep peeling them off piece by piece. I want to avoid trying to cut down the side of the bottles because it's really easy to cut right through and scratch the concrete or the wax. Now the candle that I added the gold powder to it looks cool, but it's a little bit smudged because some of the powder stuck to the sides of the bottle. So I'm going to take a heat gun and just slightly heat up the perimeter of it and it'll start to melt that powder right into the wax and give it a nice cool gold liquid look. I had a lot of fun experimenting with two-toned concrete candles, ones that were sculpted and had contours and the ones that had gold added to them. But ultimately, my favorite ones are the simplest ones. Just the one layer of concrete with the one layer of wax. I think just the, even with the straight horizon line, it just looks so clean and cool. For more detailed instructions, check out my website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.